<coughs> hello, hello, hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. We are a channel dedicated to hi-fi home cinema. We do reviews, we do demonstrations, music demonstrations, hi-fi show visits, technical stuff. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also visit our website. And if you are you know, a fan of the channel, if you watch all the videos we do, please consider becoming a Patreon. Maybe donate one pound a month or one a dollar a euro a month to the channel. And that will add up over time. I'll be able to make this content much better for you. So we're back here. We're with the cutest. We're doing the part of the cutest review. You know, this is a space that's going to be a song demonstration building up to the cutest review, but a bit more focused. Now, by focused, I mean we're going to look at some of the features of the cutest and really have a look at some of the aspects of its performance, specifically using certain songs to demonstrate it. So we're using the cutest in its incisive mode. Now, if you haven't already, please go and watch the last video linked up here. I think. Yeah, linked up one of the side, linked up here. <laughs> I can never remember. And I explain the system and all that, but also explain about the incisive mode. Now, for me, the more time I'm spending with chord DAX, which is a lot of time, the more they're starting to, excuse me, I got a cold, the more they're starting to uh, grow on me, and I'm starting to understand what they're all about. Now, that incisive mode, I think, is about trying, it's ultra linear frequency response, it says that in the manual, but it, it, it's about trying to get detail and resolution. And for me, it's about bringing the sound out, making things stand out within the sound stage, giving them real kind of life and energy and detail, um, which, you know, again, it's all about making it more authentic and stuff. Now, they can come across a bit hard with that. And that I think that's put people off. I've read lots of forum comments and certain people have put, it's put them off, but I'm really not getting that with the cutest. Now, I don't know if it's because of the other things that I've done, other things within the system. I'm just I'm just not getting it. It's coming across a kind of borderline at times, but it's never gone over that point where it's too hard and unenjoyable, too harsh and brittle. That's, that's not happened with the cutest. I'm absolutely loving it. So, you know, again, last video explains the system, Kef Reference Freeze, Audio PC, Luxman L509X, uh, Audio Quest, Speaker Cables, Audio Quest, Niagara 7000 Power Conditioner, uh, JCAT Power Supply, to the cutest all the isolators from Plips Design. That's the system, and we were using other X XLO cables. That's where we are. Now, I wanted to do it this way around for two reasons. One, I can talk to you about the bits I want you to focus on with a particular song, and two, I just want to prove that these are real recordings, because I've had a chap who's been contacted, you know, writing, leaving messages saying he doesn't believe these are real recordings. So I'm going to prove that they are, you know, because that is the big part of what I do. That's the whole thing. I want you to actually hear what I'm talking about, not just have words, I want you to hear it. So this is a quick, little insight into the song that I'm going to play you in this video and obviously we're going to, I'm going to talk to you a bit about the bit I want you to pay attention to. So are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> How'd you going, didn't I? How'd you going? I bet you, couldn't, I bet you wasn't expecting that, was you? Well, that's just a joke. Right, the song I'm going to play you is actually by Sonny Rollins and it's... Um, like you know live saxophone stuff like that and that's the bit i want you to pay attention to the saxophone does it come through in the mix how detailed is it how, how much kind of clarity and kind of bite and crispness as it got as an instrument and if this was pitch black you know and we, we removed the visual cue i suppose how realistic would this sound because to me that's what the incisive mode on this cutest is all about I'm sure the Dave and you know and all the other Dax is, is from Cold, it's all the same. They're about kind of not softening the sound. It's about really kind of giving it bite and having it come through. And the more you listen to that, the more addictive it becomes. So here we go. And I'm going to keep talking just so you prove that it's definitely a real recording. Ready? There's sound, still recording, talking. There's sound, still recording, talking. Ladies and gentlemen, That's enough. Would you please welcome a saxophone colossus, Sonny Rollins. Oh, 
And that's a particularly long song. We've still got another seven minutes of that. I think that's enough in terms of, you know, kind of prove a point really in terms of the incisiveness of the sound. You know, how detailed was that? You know, monitoring at the back, lovely constant, you know, like treble just ticking along, keeping the beat really, isn't it, for the whole song. You know, that was coming through fantastic. Obviously, I'm sure it'll be there on the recording. You'll hear that lovely. Then we've got the bass obviously keeping the beat, isn't it, as well. And then we've got the, the saxophone in the middle. So, yeah, to me, no, the cutest is, is, is very insightful. The detail and the resolution there is, is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to throw in another song from the same album. I think it's the right... Yeah, this is the one. Just by... Just to compare. Slightly different. Too. Again, yeah, hopefully giving you some idea. Right, um, don't forget, visit our website and come back for more. I'm going to do a different song next, completely different, completely different thing. Again, to show the incisiveness. That's, that's actually going to show kind of grandness and scale of, of vocal and sound as well. So come back for that one. We'll see you soon. Building up to the full review for the q and say we're just testing out its incisiveness and how it comes across like that. Oh, in that mode, and then we'll look at some how it comes across in its other modes later. See you soon. Take care.